How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. As you know, we've always covered leaks on this channel. There has been hundreds of leaked cars come out since the game's release, and there have also been loads of leaked updates as well. Well, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look and having a quick recap of all of the leaked cars, how many of them have turned out to be accurate, and we'll take a look at all of the leaked updates and how many of them have been accurate so far, and what updates we still haven't gotten yet, but have been found in the files we did a recap like this i think almost a year ago now so let's have a look now after we have a ton more leaks to add to that just how accurate is everything and what are we still waiting on quickly before we move on it's been years since i've done this but this video has a sponsor and it is raid shadow legends but not in the way that you'd expect raid shadow legends have recently premiered a new limited animated series called raid call of the arbiter which you can watch and enjoy for free within Raid Shadow Legends The Game. Episode one is out right now and new episodes will be available to watch at 10 a.m. EST every Thursday until July the 20th. I've watched the trailers myself and it looks all right, to be honest. I, you know, you're always a bit skeptical when you get a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship offer, but having watched the trailers and seeing it's gonna be an animated series, it's a little bit different to what they usually do and I thought it was actually pretty cool. They are celebrating the launch of the new animated series by adding a ton of Call of the Arbiter related features to the game itself, including new champion bios and much more. The launch of these features will add lots more aspects to the game for new and old players so it's, it's a great time to jump in now if you haven't already i personally have never downloaded raid shadow legends regardless of how many ads i have seen but i am going to give it a go because why not absolutely everybody will get a chance to play as one of the new legendary champions artak for free by simply logging into the game for seven days between now and July the 24th. So if you're new to Raid just like me and you're planning on checking it out, use my link in the description or scan the QR code you can see on the screen and you'll get a free starter pack with all this in-game loot. Let's get back to the video. So we'll start off with the car list as that's one of the main things that people enjoy adding to the game, all of the cars. So this was the leaked car list a while ago. I can't remember how many months ago. This was a good six, seven, eight, maybe even nine or 10 months ago. This is what the leaked car list looked like. The black ones are cars that have been leaked in the files or hinted at in places, and the green ones are the ones that were finally added to the game. Skip forward to March 2023, just a few months ago, and we can see a lot of them have turned green since then. Um, I'll, I'll flick back and forth, but this basically shows that between this and this, a lot of the leaks turned out to be true which is good to see. Well, if we fast forward from March to today, not only can we add the Cooper Dark Rebel concept, which has sort of been hinted at slash leaked last week, if you remember my video, we can add the Horiton STO, which was leaked and finally added. So even to this day, even to the most recent update, the cars that have been leaked in the past are being added to the game. There's no stopping this leaked car list. It is still becoming accurate. A total of 160 16 individual cars have been leaked over the course of a year and a half. 44 of them have finally been added to the game, whether that was straight after they were leaked or six months after they were leaked. A car that was leaked a year ago can suddenly pop up into the game. So 44 of them have been added, which gives us a 38% success rate in a leaked car being added to the game eventually. That's a pretty good percentage if you ask me. Now if we include all of the blue ones, which are ones that are a little bit more likely to be added due to models or screenshots being spotted, there's 11 of them currently, which leads us up to 55 potential cars, which is you know leaning towards 50%. Um, being added so this list hasn't grown much in the past year but what has grown is the amount of cars that have been added so yeah 38 percent success rate on the leaked car list make sure guys if you do find these videos helpful and enjoyable make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video like this we talk about leaks updates everything on this channel to do with horizon 5 so although all of the car leaks do turn out to be relatively accurate the leaks to do with updates and features and game add-ons and, and stuff like that, they are not so accurate because as you'll see from the rest of this video, there's a lot of stuff that's been found in the files that we just haven't got yet. Let's have a look at what there is. We have evidence of a barn find that was leaked many, many months ago. 
Obviously, we've not had a new barn find added to the game yet, so where on earth is that? Maybe there was licensing issues, or maybe it's yet to come. We have a community gift event, very similar, or at least presumably similar, to the Secret Santa event, where we can see evidence of the Beast of Turin Fiat S76 and the 1967 Hearst Shifters Baja Boot. Two cars that are very barn find related, community gift events, maybe. Again, these are all found in the files. This might be nothing, but it is a potential future update that we are still waiting to receive. Now, there are a ton of leaked images, badges, logos, manufacturer names, brands. There's obviously tons of that in the files, and quite a lot of these will be leftovers from previous um, Horizon games and motorsport games as well. So not all of these mean something. As for Horizon stories, if I recall correctly, there are three leaked Horizon stories that we have still yet to receive. The first one, I don't believe there's much information on, if at all. We just have this logo here of a, we can see that it's probably a taxi, Volkswagen Beetle it seems. Again, these leaks are from a very long time ago, but the leaked car list has proved to us that no matter how old these leaks are, we can still get them eventually so that is the first horizon story the other two we have a little bit more information on it is the horizon drift club mexico part two horizon story we found a ton or i didn't somebody on gt planet found a ton of leaked dialogue in the files that's talking all about horizon drift club part two the dialogue is in the files for this so this is i don't want to say likely to come but it's more likely than the other things to come eventually as part of a future series update. Now there's a third Horizon story which we previously mistaken or mistook, I don't know what the right way of saying that is, for a full update. Now you may remember a few months ago we had a drag racing update leaked. There was tons of stuff found with this such as cars, how the drag racing will work, launch control. This is how the Hurricane STO was leaked into the game as well which eventually came. The Rimac Nevera was leaked as well, that eventually came. So everything within this leak turned out to be extremely credible. The only thing we haven't been given yet is the drag racing update itself. Now, because launch control got added and these cars got added, it seems more likely that this drag racing update is just gonna be a horizon story that focuses on doing really good drag racing. Now, there is more information on this horizon story than any of the other ones. So this one is yet again, even more likely to come eventually when i don't know now another huge one which is probably one of the biggest ones which i think most people genuinely don't know about eliminator update where they seem to be adding duos to the eliminator where you obviously play with your mates it's going to be called eliminati now again this was a good six or seven months ago probably even way longer than that where leaked audio files were found within the files and it's an announcer talking all about the eliminator game mode that we're all familiar with but with a lot more stuff going on to do with duos having a teammate within the eliminator exclusive eliminati cars there was a lot within this update i made a full video on this showcasing all of the leaked audios i actually played them on on video this is obviously quite a big update if it's adding an entire big game mode, different cars and features and stuff like that but we've yet to see it so i really don't know where that's going to be now there's one more big update and it is a bit of a controversial one because we've all been told it's coming and not everybody really wants it and it's the donut media part two Yes, I completely forgot Donut Media was even in the game because the update was a bit lacking. It didn't really go down that well with the community, the Donut Media update, and I have to say I do agree. There's, there are still a bunch of Donut Media related things that we were promised that we haven't got, and we were told were coming in part two, such as being able to drive the high-low cars, the trucks, just everything that Donut Media have done on their channel. I'm going to get to drive in-game. We have yet to receive that part two update, which has lead lots of people to expect, speculate. Have they just cancelled part two of the update because it was just really disliked by the community? I doubt that. It's probably already in the pipeline. There's probably no going back. When it when it when will it come? I don't know. But we have like four or five updates worth of content that we've talked about in this video, and it's all got to come eventually, surely, unless it's just wasted 
and they've changed their mind. Which one of these updates are you guys looking forward to the most? Do you think they've cancelled some of them? I don't really think they would have done that, but it is interesting to see how long it's taking some of these things to finally release. That's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you all later.